Hi everyone and welcome to Kaniri Grows. Thank you so much for tuning in. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I transplant my seedlings from um, the, the clustered. You know, when you first uh, sow them, you can sow them in clusters. Then you have to transplant them into individual cells. So these are the kills that I sowed a few days ago. They are perennial kills and I sowed them in clusters and I'm going to be showing you how they look like. And this is the individual cell. It's still brand new. It has 40 cells. I haven't even opened it. And I'm going to be showing you how you transplant them from here to here. So first of all, guys, I would like to open up this. So this is a clean film that I had put over it so they can germinate faster. And just to mention, these uh, seedlings, they were grown under a grow light and also they had uh, a heating mat underneath. I'm just removing the, the clean film. The reason as to why I put this clean film up is because the lids for this container, they were not uh, closing very well, as you can see. These are not the right lids for this particular container. These lids are for smaller containers, so I had just joined two lids together like this, so they could uh, fit. But uh, the, it had some gaps around it because it doesn't uh, fit properly. So with the gaps, I had to put a clean film cover all over around it, so it could create uh, an environment like a greenhouse, which will help the seedlings grow faster. As you can see, I've had a fairly good result with most of the seedlings. So most of the seeds, this in particular, I've sowed them in two, so this and this, these are the son of purple kale, purple kale tree. And I also have the oak leaf bush, which hasn't been as uh, successful as the son of purple kale. So you can see here, I have just about maybe four, four of them. This is the oak leaf bush. And uh, here, there's only three of them. So that was the least successful of the, of, of, of the four of them. All four of these are all types of perennial kills. So I have the Pentland here. The Pentland has uh, done fairly good. As you can see, we have two little jiffy pots which have planted the Pentland and um, they have done fairly good. I'm happy with that. And this is the Big Leaf Jack. The Big Leaf Jack has also done well, but just a few, few of the uh, leaves didn't open very well. I might leave some of them there and see if they will open properly. So out of the sorry, out of the four of them, I can see that the son of purple kale tree has been most successful. So guys, stay tuned. Uh, I'm just going to fill up this seed tray. Just let me open. So this is how it looks like this is how it looks like and it has a water trough this is a, a just a, a little trough to capture the water and also to store any excess water or any future if it needs more water in future there will be water underneath to absorb or if you prefer you can be watering your seedlings from here you just water underneath and the, the cells are going to absorb the water because they have little holes underneath. They have holes. So the compost can just absorb the water from underneath. This is why I like these particular cells. And they also have with a cover. Come with this cover which fits perfectly. And you need to cover them. But when the seeds are this, um, are at this height, you don't really need to cover them because they have already germinated. The reason as to why we cover them initially is to just help them at that um, uh, first stage when they're just trying to uh, sprout and germinate from a seed into a seedling. So because they're in clusters, the main reason why I'm, um, 
I'm, tr I'm, I'm going to remove them from this cluster and I'm going to plant them in individual cells is because they are, at the moment they are very close together and they are fighting for nutrients and water and uh, they will not have a healthy germination or they will not grow to their full potential when they're in that small jiffy pot. So when you put them in individual cells, they, they will each have a chance to, to grow healthily. So stay tuned guys as I go and uh, fill up my seed tray with soil and I'll be back. We're back guys and I've filled my tray with uh, compost. I've used the same compost that I used when I was uh, sowing my, uh, when I was uh, sowing the seedlings. So here I've also added some water to this uh, trough and um uh, I'm going to put this inside so it can just um, soak in some water as I am going to be transplanting. So this way I find it very easy for the water to just absorb from underneath and it does not um, interfere or you do not interfere with the seedlings. Like uh, when you go, you, when you want to water, water the, the plants from the top. So this is the easiest method guys to water your seed trays so i'm just gonna dip it in water i've put about three quarters of water in the tray and it's going to be slowly absorbing the water from underneath also what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to wet the top with water because it makes it easy for me to transplant it to transplant the seedlings so I'm just using a spray bottle you can use whatever spray bottle that you have just be generous make sure the compost is completely wet at the top but not too much because there's more water that is coming in from underneath as well so guys that's how it is if you look closely this is how it looks so next we are going to make some holes for the seedlings this will make our work easier once we start transplanting so i'm gonna make a hole and this is the tool i'm using to make the holes Try to make the holes right in the center. Oops. There's a lot of compost in that one hole. I like this thing because when I'm making a hole, you can see the motion I'm going into. I'm just twisting it around like that and lifting it up and it's making just the perfect the small hole that I need. So guys, I've made um, the holes. These are 40 holes. You can see. And now we are going to be transplanting. So what we want to do is to transplant each type, each variety of seed at a time. And the best thing to do is to, for instance, we want to start with the sun of purple kale tree. We are going to take that label so we don't get all mixed up. And we are going to put it at the beginning of, because it's going to take these two lines so we're gonna fill up these two lines and that's the same thing we're going to do to the others so what i do i'll take one portion of the jiffy pot with all the seedlings as you can see the seedlings they're about maybe one two centimeters tall and that is just the perfect perfect height for them 
other thing I'm going to do is just open up because this is a jiffy pot if it was a plastic container you just lift them up at all at once L try and lift them gently but because I'm using a jiffy pot I can just tear it up like that tear it up and that way I have them here and now I'm going to just try and break them apart carefully try and break them apart as carefully as possible now I have my seedlings right in front of me and I'll be picking one seedling at a time and putting it next to its hole one seedling and next to its hole if you follow these steps guys you will find it so easy to transplant your your seedlings just put it next to the hole you don't need to push it in yet you just do one task at a time so right now we're just uh, allocating them rather their holes before we can push them in that way you can also be able to determine how many holes will be enough for this in case you need to move the label a bit further you can do that see so we have finished two lines and still we have some more so that means the pent line uh, the son of purple kill sorry son of purple kill might need another line to be able to accommodate all these other guys these are these are going to be a lot of purple kill trees and you know trees these are they're perennial and they grow very very tall guys i'm not sure if i can i can give them some to my friends when they if they happen to become nice and healthy seedlings i don't like to throw them away so guys i have finished giving them but i do i can see that some of them were very very small so i will change them for the more healthy ones if i think that some of them won't make it i uh, i will change them for a more healthier seedling i only have like uh, just a few left here which i will not need for now because i have more than enough so the next thing guys is just pushing them in and this is also very very easy if you just follow this step that i'm going to show you so what i do is take the same thing <clears throat> i'll just bring you closer and what i'm going to be doing is just pushing it from from the root just push it from the root push it all the way in twist it and leave it there and then push the soil around it they might be looking a bit limpy right now but they will be fine it's just the process of uh, transplanting can be a bit traumatic for them and you know so i'm just pushing it straight with my little dibbler push it straight into the hole from the the end of the root end part of the root try not to touch the the little stem because it cannot it can be a bit delicate so start with the root and just push it in so guys this is so easy and i can do this so quickly especially when uh, i'm not recording i will just be pushing them like this tree will be done in just in just less than 10 minutes i will have done it looks like these ones they were growing two two of them so i have to remove one so the other one can have better roots <coughs> sometimes you have to make some tough choices with the seedlings but it's got to be done 
because the result is the most important. So guys, this is the end result. So we've ended up putting the sun of purple kale in the this whole tray that's taken up those two little jiffy pots which had clustered seedlings and this is how they look. So thank you guys for watching and until next time. Bye.